Greetings, Phil McCordick here. Let's build something cool. Leonardo da Vinci was this awesome guy who invented a whole bunch of stuff. And one thing that he invented, which was pretty cool, is a self-supporting bridge. That's a bridge that's built without using any fasteners or glue or tape. And we're going to recreate it today with popsicle sticks. All you need is popsicle sticks. In fact, you don't even, you don't even need this plastic cup. We're just gonna use popsicle sticks. Now, when you build it, and if you've seen it on Science Max, when we built it for, uh, at a large scale, they had little grooves in the sticks and that makes it a lot easier. When you do it with popsicle sticks, it's actually quite difficult. It's like building a card house, but it's a lot of fun to try to challenge yourself to see how big uh, a self-supporting bridge you can make. So, let's do it. Why don't you follow along with me once you get your own popsicle sticks, and this is how you build it. You start with a stick, there you go, and then you put two sticks on top of it like this, and then you put another stick on top of that, just like that. So we go over and under. Then what you do is you lift up this one stick. And if your hand isn't big enough to go from both ends, you can pick it up from the middle, like that. But what you wanna do is you don't have to pick it up much. All you have to do is just slip two more popsicle sticks in underneath, like there and there, just a little bit. You don't have to slip them very far because then what you do is you hold this stick and you just push gently until they get to the edge of this popsicle stick here. And then you make sure everything's squared up. Doesn't look like much so far, but hold on. So then your next stick you have to slide underneath to the edge there. And then what you want to do is the same thing. Just lift it up a little bit. And then when you push, you want to push both together so your bridge stays straight. If you only push one at a time, the bridge goes all wonky and then it all falls apart. Push them both at the same time. There we go. And then you want to straighten them out. You want to take a good look at your bridge very frequently to make sure everything is aligned and looking nice and straight. And now as you see, they're going in, they're getting closer together. So what I like to do is go three layers in and then you can go back out to the outside of the stick. So remember you put this one underneath, push them both together at the same time, and go under. And there you go, look, it's a bridge. It's a bridge and you can put stuff on the bridge. Let's bring that cup back. Put the cup back, you can put the popsicle sticks in the cup, on the bridge. Whoa, careful. You gotta be gentle. There you go. See, look at that bridge. Now, of course, what you wanna do is you wanna just max it out and just see how far you can go before it completely falls apart. So I like to count the cross pieces to know how far I am. So I've made one, two, three, four cross pieces. Let's just see how far I can go. Four, stick a new one underneath. That's five. Six. Let's keep going. Oh. Ooh, careful. Whoa. Ha ha ha! Look at that. Now I've got seven. Uh oh. Uh oh. It came apart, but it's still holding. So now, now I'm back to seven. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Careful. Eight. Uh oh. No, 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 oh, there you go. I have eight, I was working on nine, but it didn't, it didn't quite take. So try it yourself at home, it's really fun. It's like building a card house, because you can always challenge yourself to build it bigger. And if you manage to build a really big one, totally send me a picture on Facebook or Twitter and let me know how you did. All right, there you go. Till next time, stay curious.